Right. Again, Harmony Orb and Diva. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but Harmony Orb plus Discord means that she could probably win this 1v1, which means this Reaper has to drop, which means this Reaper is having to play more passive. And now you guys get the high ground, and then you're all good. There's a Harmony. Now Discord. Now, who do we Harmony? Chat, who do we Harmony now? This is why Zen's hard. It's the most simple cooldown, arguably. One of the simplest cooldowns in the game. Now Tracer! Because she's the one doing something. She's actively pushing. She's aggressing. She's on the angle. She's, she's, she's okay, going chat. in. Okay, chat. Now, this is actually a brilliant, brilliant timing, if I do say so myself. Because we, what did we just talk about as the number one important concept with Mercy? Right? That we went, at least with the person that we just talked, went over with. And then how is that similar to something that Zenyatta has to be thinking you guys, about? You guys got it. Yeah. You're just basically, your Harmony and Discord are going to, you're going to try and prioritize though, uh, the Harmony and Discord where, they're, where people are doing crap. Right? Not just random, but like where they're actually doing crap. Even if it means the D.Va who's half HP doesn't get healing, but if your Genji is like here and doing crap, prioritize your Genji. Even if he's basically full HP, prioritize your Genji. Because he's doing stuff. He's doing crap. He's going to do more of that Harmony Orb than the D.Va that's sitting AFK in main. Now, here's the tricky part though. Now, we talked about with Mercy about how we don't generally need the damage boost slash pocket tanks as much because that implies you being closer to your tanks, which generally you don't want to be because you're squishier and you lack mobility. So you want to be positioning and pocketing people with more range that are squishier, uh, that can benefit more from the pocket. Now, with Zenyatta, why do you generally prioritize your Harmony slash Discord on squishier targets most of the time not just targets that are doing something but for example if you have a ball and a genji that are both engaging they're both doing something why do you prioritize the genji over the ball it heals more percentage per second exactly exactly now there is argumentation for harmony orbing tanks um a lot of the time, Harmony orbing a, a Winston to kind of help him keep his HP high during jumps is good. Keep him in his armor threshold, right? Tanks have armor. In other words, they have essentially more effective HP than Squishies do. But that's a two-way street. They have more effective HP, but they also burn through that HP faster. So in the, in the long run, they're going to be taking damage anyway, and the 30 HPS percentage-wise isn't a huge part of their HP. They're essentially getting a 120th of their HP pool in the case of D.Va and Ball per uh you know per second maybe technically a little more because that's armor at least early on okay you look at somebody like genji though 30 hps is way more than genji that's 15 percent right not five percent that's 15 percent three times as much of an effective heal and even if you account in armor into that equation and let's say armor is half damage reduction which is an exaggeration that's still not even close as effective so I know there's a lot of coaches out there. They're like, you know, Harmony Orb tanks because armor and they always take damage. But I, I, I think you only Harmony Orb tanks if they're squishier, like they need the healing. If your DPS aren't really aggressing or taking aggressive angles or you need ult charge. In other words, if you're playing with like Widow, uh, you know, Ash and they're like super defensive, like there's not, no spam on the enemy team. They're playing super far. You know, they don't really, they're not, they're playing super defensive and your ball is like playing aggressive. Your one's playing aggressive. Sure. How many over your ball? But I look at your comp here and I see Genji, you know, and I'm like, man, Genji could do a lot with a Harmony Orb. Very unlikely that Genji's going to be playing extremely passive. So how many over your Genji? Right? The exception to that rule being, of course, if you need trance. I, you should be actively as Zen trying to Harmony Orb your tanks when you need trance. Now, you're gold. So what I've done is just spew a bucket load. Like I've literally just condensed war and peace and just spat out in pill form at you. It's like, it's, it's like as dense as like lead. Um, so I don't expect all of that to be processed, much less all of that to be processed and then applied. But I'm setting the stage for what I would like to see and what I'm going to be judging you based off of, right? There's like a, there's like a grade scale. Your gold, I don't expect you to do this even half of the time, but I'd like to see it half the time. Right? Whereas a GM, I expect that to be done 90% of the time. So, uh, by the way, that's a really funny uh, Moyer named David Bowie. Uh, so yeah, help your Genji as much as you can, especially if he's doing something. Make sense? Okay. With Mercy and Brick, if somebody's put Heal Orb on Tings, uh, by default, is that wrong? Well, there's obvious exceptions there. Like, you, you, sometimes with Mercy and Brick, um, your tank, like, there's a little bit of a lack of healing, so you want to give some healing to your tanks. 
But even then, you're not going to win with Mercy or Briggs in or Mercy's in through your raw damage, uh, through your raw healing. It's going to be through your utility and through your DPS. Um, so I don't think it's wrong, but there needs to be more context behind it. I have no idea what that Rhine is doing. But like right now, Harmony on, Harmony on your Zen, or your Genji. Harmony on your Genji needs to be your priority. You see this? He's critical. He needs health. Harmony on your Genji. You're, you're shooting shots at... <laughs> this is a this is a Telf, sir. This is a Wendy's. Like, uh, this is not... This is not... <laughs> this, One more this, thing this, before I go move on. When I say you Harmony Orb, you pocket who's actually doing something, why is that usually Genji? Why would you usually not Harmony Orb a Widow as much? What is it about Genji's kit that makes him benefit from Harmony Orb? Because, yeah, exactly. exactly they, he, he, they, they, Genji's generally play more aggressive. He's a more aggressive hero. If you've got a McCree that's like legit, just like brain dead, but going in like crazy, Harmony Orb, you're a McCree, man. If you got a Widow that's going on crazy flanks and being pressured by the Echo, Harmony Orb that Widow, man. Again, don't don't get set in stone. I always Harmony Orb Genji. Da, 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 da. You know, no AI on me. You know what I'm saying? Make your own decisions. But you look at the situation here, you probably start with Genji until you're proven wrong. Until the Genji starts running like slow to support you, Genji. We need to do a better job of that. Because a Genji with Harmony Orb is going to help you guys out a lot. Because he's going to make that Ana. He's going to make that Symmetra. He's going to uh, play really carefully, play really slow. And you you will take less damage if you Harmony Orb your Genji. Because he's going to keep them on a leash. He's going to be like, if you get too aggressive, I'm going to beat the crap out of you. Right? And he can't beat the crap out of them if he doesn't have Harmony Orb. Alright. Okay. Do Harmony Orb your Ana. This is like one of the situations where you do Harmony Orb your Squishy because she needs, she doesn't want to have to nade herself. Keep it on her until she's full HP. Do not swap it. Like right, uh, hmm, yeah, I, okay, I think this is understandable because he's, he's very low and he's N. Okay, right again. Do you see, do you see the problem here? Now you're low rank. And so it might take you a second to react to stuff like this, but we want to start building these reactions by setting expectations. In the same way that when you know when when you go to a reaction speed test online, you wouldn't know how to test your reaction speed if there weren't instructions to follow. Right now, I'm giving you instructions. What I want to see you do is when I see a squishy aggressively position, that squishy needs in harmony orb, ASAP. I don't care if they're close to full HP or not. You get them that opportunity to do stuff right now. And right now, this Harmony Orb should already be on because this Genji is doing crap, man. He is doing stuff. He's probably going to die. He needs to back out, but he needs your help. And right there, you're, lo you're, you're, you're late, you're low, and now you, you waste trance as well. But like, let's not worry about the trance. Let's worry about the mistake that made you feel trance was necessary, that foot trance in the first place. Because you and I both know that trance was a mistake. I don't have to hammer that into you. You already know it's a mistake, so that's okay. But what caused that mistake to happen? That needs to go away. You need to take a machete and chop off that tumor. Okay, again, do you normally want to harmony orb uh, a ball? No, but he's critical and he's doing something. Totally fine. And is then normally, is, as a Zen, as you get better, you will be used to having to cycle your harmony orbs fairly frequently. Not a lot, but fairly frequently, and that's okay. Like you, and again here, chat. Who do we harmony? Who do we harmony? Tracer or Ryan? I actually agree with Tracer or Ryan. Like you'd like to get Tracer, but you don't have LOS in her. So why do you harmony Ryan? Why do you harmony Ryan? We literally just got done saying you don't harmony tanks most of the time. But why would you harmony Ryan here? And like, okay, assuming you can't harmony Tracer, let's just remove that from the equation. Let's take a moment to think about this because he's the most likely to take damage. I want you to look at the battlefield right now. How is your team positioned right now? Do you see this? How is your team positioned? Do you see? Who is playing aggressive on your team? Who's doing things on your team? Like not just not just the action, don't don't think overthink it. Just like who's actually doing crap on your team right now? Ryan, nobody. Nobody but your Ryan. Look at your look at your green. Look at your trace. Look at your. You know, obviously, you got a baby diva as well, but like, literally nothing. Like, like absolutely nothing. You think your harmony orb is gonna do anything here? No. 
It's gonna do absolutely nothing. Now, Harmony Orb and Rhyme generally isn't that great. It's not a big deal, but it's better than nothing. And you Harmony Orb in your Kree, when he's got payload cart healing and just kind of sitting here, is better than Harmony Orbing nothing at all. So what we do is we Harmony Rhyme, and we wait for either Tracer to come into our LOS, Kree to start actually pushing, uh, or, you know, Ana to take damage, and then we can adjust. But right now, you don't have a single Harmony Orb up. You don't have it up at all. Right now, chat, who do we Harmony Orb? Who do we Harmony Orb? Diva, right. Again, Harmony Orb and Diva. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but Harmony Orb plus Discord means that she could probably win this 1v1, which means this Reaper has to drop, which means this Reaper is having to play more passive. And now you guys get the high ground, and then you're all good. There is a Harmony. Now Discord. Now, who do we Harmony? Chat, who do we Harmony now? This is why Zen's hard. It's the most simple cooldown, arguably. One of the simplest cooldowns in the game. Now Tracer! Because she's the one doing something. She's actively pushing. She's aggressing. She's on the angle. She's she's, she's going in. You, I, Some people are saying Kree in chat. Kree would not be as bad of a choice here as he was before. Now, I still prefer Tracer, but McCree isn't bad because he's actually like going in, right? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. But McCree isn't as bad of a choice as he was before. So you you understand. You understand the concept. That's what I want. I don't care. Oh, I didn't see the tracer. That's okay. Doesn't matter. But you see the Kree. The Kree is aggressing. He is going in. So you're right. Kree would be a good Harmony Orb. It's not the best. But but it's good. So nice. All I want to see now is a Harmony Orb on the uh, tracer. And I'm, I'm happy. But the Discord here is good. The Harmony Orb goes in the Kree, but I, I still prefer Tracer here, right? I still prefer Tracer. And again, that's not, I'm not picking Tracer just because arbitrarily, oh, Tracer's more mobile, yada, yada, yada. Everybody knows Tracer is a better Harmony Orb target than Kree because she's more mobile. But screw what everybody says. Look at the situation. Who is more aggressively positioned? Who is uh, in combat more aggressively right now? And the answer is Tracer. Tracer, therefore, will benefit from Harmony Orb more. So yeah, Harmony Orb needed to be on Tracer, but I like that it was on D.Va there. Because again, who do you Discord? <laughs> okay, chat, I'm going to add one more layer here. We already talked about Harmony, 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 Harmony. You Harmony who's doing crap. You Harmony who's doing crap. You Harmony who's doing crap. Who do you Discord, chat? Who do you Discord? Who's getting, okay. Don't overthink it. You Discord, who are, yeah, people who are doing crap, man. People who are doing crap, that's who you Discord. The Reinhardt's in the middle of your team, Discord him. There's a Reaper in your backline, Discord him. There's a Diva on the high ground, easy shot for your team, Discord him. You Discord who's easy and who's doing crap, that's it. You Harmony, who's easy, who's going to benefit from the most, and who's doing crap. And that's it. So much of Overwatch gets so much, like, tier listed and like, oh, you Harmony this. D Ryan is a great Discord because he's a tank. Well, the, why do you think, chat, why do you think tanks are good Discord targets? <coughs> why is it that people are always talking about Discord? Is it because there's some arbitrary advanced logic behind it? No, it's not. It's very basic. It's because, number one, tanks are generally easier to follow up on. And number two, tanks are generally doing crap, right? They're usually doing crap. That's it. That's all there is. That's why, that's why Discord on, usually goes on tanks, because tanks are usually the ones that your team can follow up on easier, and they're usually the ones that are actually like aggressively doing stuff. Whereas you can you can discord Moira right now, but who's gonna be able to who's gonna be able to shoot the Moira? You know, maybe your tracer, but is she gonna be able to get? She's not gonna. Nobody in your team can shoot her except your so your tracer. So the thirty percent or twenty five percent discord gets less value, right? So I, I think the idea here is that like when we, when we get into these reviews, and this is not just for the gold players benefit here. I'm not talking down. This is just for everybody in here. Don't overcomplicate the game, guys. You just use your abilities on people that are doing stuff that's it nice 
Okay, get the Discord off of your Ana. Your Ana is no longer doing stuff. Get it on your Tracer or on your McCree. Get it on your Tracer or your McCree. Tracer McCree. Like right now, look at your Tracer. She is in, boy. She is absolutely in. She is ready to go. She's gonna hand you that. She's gonna hand you the gold medal on a silver platter. But your but your Discord. But where is your Harmony sitting? It's sitting on your Ana, who is literally taking no damage. It's not position. Isn't doing anything right now. So you're in the situation now where you have you are having a lot to think about. You see, the human brain is just not very good at multiprocessing. It's just not. Everybody talks about multitasking, but generally what happens when you're multitasking is you've gotten so good at something that you can do it without actually putting conscious thought into it, right? So when people talk about multitasking, a lot of time they're really only thinking about one or maybe two things while the rest of their body is just autopiloting. So when you're playing Zenyatta, you want to get to a point to where you're able to autopilot more with your harmony. You're able to autopilot more with your discord. You're able to autopilot more with your mechanics. And right now you're, you're thinking about like all three. And maybe you're thinking about your positioning and maybe you're thinking about like, uh, you know, like what, where's the enemy team? Like you're thinking about a lot of things. So our, our goal is to, to, to like let some of the other stuff go and to just really, really grind on one aspect so that we can kind of autopilot a little bit. Cause that's the only way to get better is to auto you need to autopilot stuff not just get better at it, but you need to you need to catalog it into autopilot category so you don't have to think about harmony orb but right now your harmony orb has been sitting on your honor the entire fight like the entire fight probably harmony orb your honor but like you look there and you're like harmony orb and your sigma but he's gonna die either way so there's nothing you can do Harmony Orb Kree, please, or your Ana, please. I'm begging you. I'm desperately begging. I'm literally on my knees, screaming and crying and kicking. Please, you blasted bot. You have two squishies, legit, mashing their fat, ugly faces in the middle of the enemy team, and you don't have a Harmony Orb up. Now, now, obviously, you can't Harmony Orb anybody because you got flipping David Bowie sucking you. He's jumping out of the grave. He's got his whip, whipped his purple juice. He's lasso dude and he's sucking out your innards. But like how, how many seconds are we just not gonna have a harmony or about? On a squishy in the middle of the enemy team to boot. Okay? Bingo. 14, 16. Na 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 na. Okay, five, five seconds. You've had five seconds before you got distracted by, you know, like flipping painted face cheesecake over here. And Jeez, man. Now we were we were so close to like, hey, you know what? We're getting there, and then you just you just go and craft the bed. What is your McCree doing? Okay, I'm sorry. What 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 just happened here? My, the, 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 the best part of this, the best part is not the fact that he failed the jump. Everybody in this chat has failed this jump with some hero at some point in time, right? The funniest part is that I think he probably would have made it if he'd pressed his directional arrow keys to the forward or to the right. I think he would have made it. I think he messed up and they just assumed he wouldn't make, make it. It just gave in to his fate. He just accepted his fate. It was over. Like right here, like right here, boom. But like, look, he's close. Like, like he's got momentum already. He could go right, but he just goes, look at this, Chad, look! Hold up now. Chat, who do we harmony or? Kree, your Kree is, is as aggressive as your Sigma. And he benefits more from that HP boost. Look at, look at your Kree, look at your Kree, look at your Kree. Let's see if he takes damage. Wow, cancels. There's damage orb, there's damage orb, there's damage orb, there's damage orb, nade. Now, you would have prevented him. Now, he's naded now, so him, Harmony Orb's not going to do anything. But he would have been, excuse me, at probably 140 HP instead of 97 if he'd had Harmony Orb. In other words, he would have, he took that damage orb suck, and then he got naded. That damage orb sucked would have been healed up in full, and then he would have been naded. He would have been at least 140 HP, if not higher.
That's your fault. That's your fault. If he's if he's harmony orbed, he survives. I'm glad you're finding this funny. I'm glad you're finding you you what you have done is you have literally literally directly sent Dragonfolf to spawn. You said you're not allowed to play the game. Dragonfolf is frustrated, he's sad, he, his wife left him, his truck burned, his his weed stash turned out the fact that it was actually catmint. Um and and what have you done? You have not given him harmony orb. You have let him die. And you know what he's going to go do now? He's going to do something really rash and the fact something that he wish he thought more about. He's going to load up webkins and probably spend some time chatting with his friends in there and probably redecorate his room. And that is your fault. Again, why why the heck is your harmony orb on your diva? Why? What, what, what? Your diva is less aggressive than your Sigma, significantly less aggressive than your Kree, and needs the HP less than either of these two. Harmony! Okay. All right, listen. So this is like beating a dead horse and then there's like taking a jackhammer to the poor thing's body. And that's what we've been doing at this point. So let's just skip ahead and see if you win. I want to know if I should laugh at your expense. Oh, I'm definitely laughing right now. What, what is this? Okay, look, listen, listen, we're, we're, but we, we have to, we have to, we have to throw this one in here. Harmony and Discord are tools meant to use for you to win fights. You don't have to think too hard about map control and angles and flanks and just, just harmony people who are doing crap, especially if they're lower HP, because the our return on investment is higher when they're lower. And Discord people in the enemy team who are doing things, oftentimes those are tanks because they do things more often and they're easier for your team to follow up off of it.